I will have whatsoever I say. I will have whatsoever I say. My brother, you'll have whatsoever you say. My sister, you'll have whatsoever you say. My child over there, you're going to have whatsoever you say. At this midnight hour, with the miracle, with the midnight miracle, what do you say? What do you say? Stand up and say it. Stand up and say it. And say, mine is a miracle. Mine is a power. Mine is the authority. I'm going to have whatsoever I say. I'm going to have whatsoever I say. It's always important to start this sort of discussion by opening the Bible. And we I'll be reading Isaiah 14, Isaiah chapter 14, starting from verse 12. What I want to do is draw your attention to the similarity of the language between what you have just heard and what you will continue to hear in this little video from the mouth of Mr. Kumuye and another ancient speaker of that sort of language. You will have to judge because uh, that is God's command to us. You must judge the spirit what spirit is this that is talking through Mr. Kumui? What is this that is teaching? So let us read. Let me read Isaiah 14, verse 12. I think to verse 14 or 15. And I read How art thou fallen from heaven? O Lucifer, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Anybody can see the similarity of I will, I will, I will by Lucifer. That is Satan. And Mr. Kumu is I will have whatsoever I say. You should be able to see the similarity. You should be able to know the source. The person whose will must transcend the will of God. That is occultism. That is basic witchcraft. Nothing more, nothing less. Anybody putting his will above the will of God. Lucifer said, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Mr. Kumuyi is repeating himself and is teaching his audience. I will have whatsoever I say. My mind, and only my mind, shall rule. If you should, think, if you should ever think that is somebody who is teaching submission to the ultimate will of God, you are deceiving yourself. That, in short, is witchcraft. What Mr. Kumu is teaching there from the start to the end is witchcraft. He's teaching rebellion. He's teaching the, the transcendence of his own mind, the superiority, the superiority of his own mind against the will of God. Children of God over the generations have always prayed, not my will, but thy will 
be done. So those people are being introduced, they are being inducted, positively inducted into witchcraft without them knowing it. I will have whatsoever I say. I will have whatsoever I say. I will exhort myself above the throne of the stars of God. If anyone is not blinded by the devil, it is not difficult at all to see that what Mr. Kumuyi is hawking is not Christianity. It's not difficult. All you need is just pay a little attention. That's just it. Mine is the miracle. Mine is the power. Mine is the authority. All these things don't belong to God again. They belong to me. It, it, that, that should that I mean that should be very very clear. What the Bible says is that the glory, the power, the authority they belong to God. Now you are seizing God's authorities, God's power. And you say you are a child of God. You can see these people are not children of God. They are not. They are not. They do not know God. No matter what, they do not know God. They do not have idea of who God is. Special night, miracle, miracle, midnight, miracle, midnight, miracle, midnight, miracle is coming your way. It's coming your way. It's a unique night. It's never happened like this before. It's never happened like this before. Dig deep and, and, re, and, and get to the oil. Dig deep and get to the anointing. Dig deep and get to the, to the power. Dig deep and get to the authority. This miracle night, this miracle. He's asking them to dig deep and get the oil. Which oil is this? Dig deep to where? Dig deep to where? As in the Lord Jesus Christ died, as in he resurrected, as in God made plain his mind as to what he will or will not do. So where are you digging deep to get what oil, what anointing, what power, what glory? The Bible has been given to man so that man will know the mind of God. It is complete. The last thing people in word of faith, the last thing they like people to understand, to get, is that the Bible is complete. You cannot add anything to it. You cannot remove anything from it. Nice miracle for the mi midnight midnight miracle coming your way coming your way coming your way coming your way don't sleep now don't sleep now this is the hour your hour this is the hour for your power the hour for your power the hour for your power it has come it has come you tell the lord oh lord here am i oh lord here am i i will have whatsoever i say i will have whatsoever the hour for your power no, not the hour for God's power. The hour for your power. And you, you can see that the fear of God is absent from what Mr. Kumo is, is teaching. The hour for your power. The power is yours. The authority is yours. They do not belong to God. You, ordinary dust, talking about power, even where Satan himself is, those are not statements from a servant of God will make. Somebody who has any idea who God is, 
what excellent inestimable glory we are talking about those are statements from somebody who has got no idea who God is your mouth is right there in your mouth your victory is there in your mouth and your success is there in your say it out say it out let the world hear let the world hear let your friends hear let your foes hear and let yourself hear say it until you believe it say it until you did you hear gross deception say it until you believe it let your friends hear let your foes hear. And so what? So if your friends hear it, it is not transformed into miracle. Or if your foes hear it, you say it until you believe it. So you can see it is mind science that Kumi teaches. Say it until you believe it. So, just go ahead and say you are you are the president of the United States of America. Say it a million times until you believe it. Or call yourself the president of Nigeria or that of South Africa. It looks like Christianity because it sounds because you hear the word say something faith but you can see that this is fake faith this is not the true faith of the Bible this is fake faith this faith that is not from the Bible comes from the other side and the other side is led by Satan. I must make that very clear. There is no three ways. It's either you are with God or you are not with Him. The moment anybody sets out to, te to tell you anything about spirituality, and that spirituality is not directly from the Bible, it's from the enemy of God and man, it's from Satan. There's no other way. The Bible doesn't have any third personality. So maybe Mr. Kumuyi is, uh, is from God. Maybe he's just making mistake. Maybe he's, he's uh, mistaken or what. No. There's no such thing in the Bible. The moment you are teaching spirituality and what you are saying is not from the true spirit of God, it's from the devil, it's from Satan. It's as simple. So, this is a call on Mr. Kumuyi personally to repent, to seek the Lord, to become born again. He's not a Christian. Christians don't teach occultic things. This must be a very big statement to most people that will be watching this video. But that's the truth. That is the truth. The Bible knows. The Bible, God is no respecter of anybody. He's not a Christian. He doesn't know the Lord Jesus Christ. He doesn't. I say you carry the miracle in your mouth you carry the miracle in your mouth you carry the power in your mouth you carry the anointing in your mouth you carry the authority in your mouth you carry your healing in your mouth you carry your deliverance in your mouth you carry the dominion in your mouth you carry your good, good luck in your mouth and you carry the prosperity in an old Christian writer wrote years ago that even demons must be alarmed at, at the temerity and the foolhardiness 
of men. When they hear the kind of statements that come out of men, ordinary men, What you've listened to in this short video are some of such. They are statements from the occult. Mr. Kumuyi is recruiting candidates for witchcraft. He's not breeding people for God. He's breeding people rebels against God because all those attributes and powers is leading these gullible people into they are preserves of God they belong only to God but since he has taken it on himself to teach people about God. Somebody who does not know God himself. You can see the only thing he teaches is witchcraft. He teaches the opposite of what the Bible teaches. Mr. Kumui teaches basically witchcraft. Nobody should be deceived by his solemn dominion. The word of God is not about solemnity. People are solemn in which is coven. High priests of demons are generally solemn. So solemnity should not deceive anybody. It is what comes out from the mouth of the teacher you have to listen to the lord jesus christ says that from the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks you do not know godliness and holiness by looking at the face you don't spot it it is by listening to what comes out of anybody's mouth and what comes out generally from Mr. Kumuyi's mouth are teachings on witchcraft, on occultism. They are teachings that are against what are plainly written in the Bible. It's your duty to pick your Bible. It's your duty to look after. God expects everybody to look after his own interest. In this particular instance, you have to look after your own interest. Check what the Bible says yourself. Check them with what Mr. Kumi teaches. And you can therefore see how terrible the situation of the church is in Nigeria. Because if Kumi, one of the most respected of the Pentecostals in Nigeria, if what he teaches is occultism and witchcraft. You can imagine what the less respected teach. 